Any day is dead day. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Leave Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. And guess what? <laughs> we're back with the Grateful Dead. Surprise. Uh, we're going to be listening to a track called Easy Wind. Um, it is off of... Alright, so this is... Alright. It's Q K Q E D Studios, San Francisco. Um, August 30th, 1970. Uh, this is the opener of the set. Um, it's only, I think it's like seven minutes long, uh, but apparently it's got some, uh, experimental visuals. It's been restored and stuff. It's a old copy of something. I don't know, but apparently it's a really, really good performance of, uh, some of their, something different than I guess the stuff we had been doing before. So I'm down. If y'all are not subscribed, please help a brother out. Click that icon right below my face. Also, if you don't mind, leave a comment. That's not a big deal. You know, like the video. It really helps. But the algorithm pushes it out, more people see it, and it really does help. Alright, uh, Grateful Dead, Easy Wind, live at Something Studios in San Francisco, <laughs> 3, 2, 1, go. I feel like I'm tripping. That's awesome. That Anchor Roads video all over again. Shit. This has like a southern rock feel to it almost. A Grateful Dead style. Stevie Ray Vaughan would love this song. He probably knows it, but he did. I know this is like, I know a lot of blues guitarists came in for that, but I don't know. Perfect sync, man. Always. Yes. That's good.
the damn flashbacks, bro. <laughs> Sorry, I was just trying to find the lineup for this. Hard to find. Come on, Jerry. Fucking CIA, bro. I'm not watching it. I'll take a peek. That's how they get you. like a perfect emulation of that southern style. Oh, it's hard. Oh, yeah. That, well, that is it. Easy win. Sorry, I was trying to, like, find the lineup for that this exact concert because I know shit changes or whatever but so for this song it came out i think the same year that this show was um so i'm guessing jerry garcia bob weir on guitar as well um pig pen on keyboards and harmonica vocals and lead vocals on easy wind all right so i was wondering who that guy was i i don't think i had seen him before maybe i have um ron mckermitt mckernan it doing the harmonica and the lead vocals. I I thought he did great, man. Like the way that he sang, it, it, like I said, it, it fit that bluesy southern sort of sound perfectly. It really did, and it I don't know, man. Like that harmonica too. Like he was killing it. And like I said, I, I maybe I've seen him before. He hasn't stood out to me then until now. If he if I have, uh, but he completely stole the show for me here, man. Uh, I think I would definitely say the vocals. Um, the harmonica might have been my favorite part. Um, of course, Phil Lesh on bass, uh, Bill Kreutzmann on drums, Mickey Hart on drums, and um, Tom Constantine. That's on a reissue. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I definitely thought the vocals were great. Uh, the guitar obviously was great too. It like that's it. Like I said, Jerry can play anything. It feels like any style, any genre. Like he can just come in and just kill it. Um, it, like he just has such a good tone good like it's all everything he, all his like skill trees and points are at like the perfect balance like he just has so many good things going for him like as a guitarist there's no like one thing that i found that's like you know maybe his like flaw or anything like that like he's just a all-around solid guitar player and he just is amazing man he adds such a great layer of sound to the all like to all the music he's in um i was waiting for him to come in there like in the middle part and when he did man 
he came in. He really did. <laughs> uh, like I said, the quality, of course, was very interesting. Um, <laughs> it is what it is, though. Like I'm glad I got to experience what at least some people experienced back then because I don't want some modernized, remastered, even though that happens sometimes. I want to see what y'all saw, you know, because I know th there is a difference between the original stuff and the remasters, you know, because they clean it up, they add stuff, take stuff away, you know. I don't know. I kind of, I feel so connected to this time period. It's so weird. But, I mean, it's because I listen to music from it every day. I don't know. I mean, it could be just that, but I feel like there's something more to that. And it's, I've been trying to figure out what the fuck it is, but I don't know. Maybe I was there. Or maybe I'm just crazy. Who knows? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I definitely, I'd say, you know, uh, Kreutzman on the drums too, man. Um, and what's, his, what's the other guy's name? Mickey Hart, of course. Um, they do such a great job of just being in sync with each other. And I really couldn't hear them as well or like a fill on the bass. All I could hear was vocals, harmonica, and guitar, but that's due to the quality probably. Um, but still, thank you, Dave S., for sending that in. That was a great pick. He is our resident Grateful Deadhead. He sends them in uh, at least twice a month, man. I really appreciate it. I love doing the dead tracks. They, um, I don't know, man. They're just so different from everything else. But here, it definitely it sounded like uh, what we did, Credence Clearwater Revival the other day. Kind of sounded like that at points, that song we did, that they did at Woodstock, you know. Um, keep on chuglin. There you go. Um, <laughs> you know, I just I just love that style. We've been really getting into it. You know, Steve Ray Vaughan, too. That's more like, you know, stuff down the line. Um there's just a whole lineage, it seems like, a blues rock that's just fantastic. Even going back to, you know, we did a, a Robert Johnson song, you know, and he even had that bluesy sound down, even all the way back then. Like, it's just crazy to me. And the legacy of that sound uh, hopefully will live forever, man, because it's well, one of a kind. And I'm glad that it got passed down and went through so many hands and had so many different fingers on it because it's become this thing that you can't even really explain anymore. The influence blues had on, the, like, music and the world in general you know there's just some things that it just got so big and so ingrained in our minds and culture that you know you really can't even there's not even a word for it it's just huge you know it's just done so much and i'm very grateful to have actually really discovered the blues man because i i mean i'd heard stuff in movies and tv shows but i never actually sat down and listened to it and let it soak in you know and it's good stuff man it's good for the soul gets them demons out, shakes the, you know, dusts the inside of your soul off, basically, with a nice rag. <laughs> That's what it does. And I love it. And I think the Grateful Dead did a great version of it here, and I always enjoy doing their tracks. Thank you, Dave. Uh, if you all have any other tracks by Grateful Dead, or, you know, videos, concerts, anything, what do you think we should do? Um, I'm open for dead picks, so leave it down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you all did not know, which you probably do, we have a Patreon right here. That is a picture of it. There's a link in the description. If you join the $15 tier or up, you get one free request a month. Uh, join any of the tiers, get access to all of our block videos, Patreon exclusives, full album reactions. There's all kinds of stuff on there. You'd have a great time, I promise. You can join any of the tiers, get access to our Discord server. Um, there's all kinds of different little videos and full albums. and It's like an Easter egg hunt, man. Just go start scrolling on Patreon. You'll find all kinds of stuff. Um, and we'd love to have you. We have a great community over there. We really do. I'm very gracious and grateful for all of the great people. <laughs> there you go. That's a sentence. Uh, just, you know, we have a great people. <laughs> Fuck. We have wonderful community over there and, uh, we'd love to have you. Like I said, and there's a PayPal link in the description for tips requested and anything else. Thank you for watching. I'm out of here. Adios, amigo. Go.